After I did the uh, Bushnell TRS-25 high-rise review, I had a, a, a good uh, amount of my subscribers ask me about other mount options and um, one-third co-witness versus absolute co-witness. So um, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, another riser mount option, which I mentioned in the other video, which was the UTG uh, medium profile riser shown here right now. It's a, a three slot riser, uh, part number RS083S. This is about 1.6 inches long. Um, uh, I don't know the exact material it's made out of, but it's made out of aircraft aluminum with uh, matte black anodizing. The saddle height is 0.83 of an inch. The weight is 1.6 ounces. Width is 1.75 inches. And it has a limited lifetime warranty from uh, UTG. So this is the packaging of uh, this particular item. And um, it does say made in China on the back of it. Let me pop it out here. <clears throat> Okay, so okay, so here's a UTG riser, and you can see that um, this riser actually has a see-through design, um, so you can actually see through it. And instead of a bolt for tightening down uh, this riser, um, there's a little knob on it. And of course, if you've heard me talk before, I don't particularly like knobs, but uh, this one is not too uh, large and obnoxious. Um, it does, on the side, uh, say UTG and, ha and has the part number. Uh, on the bottom of it, um, let's see. If we loosen this up, there's one thing. Um, this knob will not come off. It, you, if you loosen it up all the way, it stops. And you can see that the clamping area that actually clamps onto your Picatinny rail, it runs the full length. And it runs the full length there. Um, this clamp is also under spring tension, which is nice as well. So this, this is a very nicely done rail. Now let's compare this to the rail that comes with the TRS-25 high-rise. Okay, with the UTG on the left and the uh, Bushnell TRS-25 high-rise mount on the right, you can see that, uh, like I mentioned, the, this area is see-through on the UTG. This area is not on the TRS-25 high-rise mount. And the dimensions are different. You know, it still basically still has the same slot area as you can kind of see right there. Or hopefully you can see right there. But the uh, one that comes with the TRS-25 is a bit longer. It has a larger base on it than the UTG. Uh, it has... Uh, a large knob here and the clamping section which I mentioned in the previous video is just a small little area here whereas in reality if this was a quality mount this clamping area would run the full length but it does not also it's not spring loaded like the UTG or this area is not spring loaded and this nut and bolt assembly can come off completely So those are the observations there. The fit and finish is, is fine. And this would probably get the job done if you want to go with one-third co-witness. Now, when you uh, get these direct side by side, let's see if I can show that on the camera. When we get these lined up, you can see that the... Um, 
the mount that comes with the TRS-25 is taller and the UTG is shorter. The UTG will give you uh, absolute co-witness. The mount that comes with the TRS-25 high-rise will give you one-third co-witness. Okay, I have my uh, caliper out here um, and I'm actually measuring the actual height. Uh, so the height that this riser would uh, rise above your Picatinny rail. And it is as stated, it is 0.3 of an inch. And if I do the same measurement on the Bushnell TRS-25 high-rise, it is a smidgen over one inch. So the specs are pretty much on par. All right, here's the uh, Bushnell TRS-25 mounted on the UTG um, medium profile riser. And it is, uh, since it is a little bit smaller than the riser that comes with the TRS-25, it does look a little bit different, but it doesn't look um, like it doesn't belong. The colors match, uh, the fit is fine. That's kind of the profile look there. Um, given that the, the cost of the UTG you can get for $8, $9, I, I think it's a great buy, uh, assuming you want to go with absolute co-witness. If you want one-third co-witness, um, then you don't need to buy anything else. Just get the TRS-25 with the, the, the high-rise version with the one-inch mount, and uh, it'll do co-witness for you just fine. Uh, personally, my personal preference is for absolute co-witness, and that's why I went ahead and picked up um, the, the UTG, because uh, I'm actually going to use it, and um, since people were asking me about it, um, I decided to do a, a, a quick review on it. And You can also buy just the TRS-25 um, that doesn't come with any mounts on it, and then buy the UTG. You can do that as well. Uh, those versions are, I believe they're the older versions with the uh, yellow Bushnell lettering on them and the LED emitter uh, on those is in a different position as well. So, um, well, I'll go ahead. I, since I only have one Bushnell TRS-25 here, I can't show it on both mounts at the same time. So, uh, I'll swap this over and we'll put it back onto the one inch high rise mount. And here's the uh, TRS-25 on the one inch um, high-rise mount that it originally came with. Uh, because it's a little bit longer, um, it does come out a little bit more. Um, uh, the lines of this mount are a little bit more fluid with the lines of the sight, if that matters to you. Plus it has a larger base down here. Um, Uh, my personal opinion, I like the UTG mount better. I think it's it's uh, a higher quality mount. It's built better. It has a better clamping capability. Um, plus, it does absolute co-witness. Um, let me see if I can, um, uh, without going into too much detail, let me see if I can show you um, the difference between absolute co-witness and one-third co-witness. Okay, this um, is obviously just a picture I printed out, um, courtesy of LaRue, um, and it will serve for the purposes of my explanation here. So with a one-third co-witness, your irons are basically going to be down here in the one-third portion of your red dot site, with your red dot being further up here. Absolute co-witness your iron sights are going to more or less line up with your red dot and your red dot would be, probably be right on the top right there with absolute co-witness. Uh, there's, there's different schools of thought on which one is better and why. Um, I think a lot of it has to do with personal preference. 
um, and I'll just share some of my thoughts. Um, let's let's say let's assume you you have fixed iron sights that don't fold down. So you have a front A2 sight that's fixed, and maybe you have like a Daniel Defense fixed rear sight. You may not want absolute co-witness because your iron sights are always there. Maybe you want them down here, so they're out of your your main view um, of the red dot. That's that's one option if you're uh, if you're running a fixed irons. Now if you're running fold down irons like a lot of people do, myself included, my irons are only going to come up if there's something wrong with my red dot. So um, if there's something wrong with my red dot and I flip up my irons, in reality it doesn't really matter at that point in time if I've got one third or absolute co-witness because we're assuming there's something wrong with the red dot and it's off. So that's another another school of thought there. Um, if uh, let's see um, now another consideration is that if you're running fixed irons and your red dot um, is cheek weld placement with a one third co witness to get everything to line up, you're going to have to readjust your cheek weld whether you're, you're looking at the, the dot or you're looking through the irons. With an absolute co-witness, you don't necessarily need to readjust your, your, your cheek weld position. So those are just some of my initial thoughts on it, and I know that there's, there's multiple schools of thought on, on which one is better and why, and uh, I, you know, I, I could run either way but uh, I just prefer the um, absolute co-witness. Uh, so that's, that's my preference. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and put the TRS-25 on an upper. Uh, I had a few, few uh, of my subscribers ask to see what it looks like on an, on an upper receiver. So I'm going to try and do that. I may not be able to show absolute co-witness versus uh, one-third co-witness on the receiver. Hence why I have the piece of paper here. So in case the in case I can't uh, get that to work on the uh, upper receiver, at least you you've got uh, an idea at this point. Here's the TRS25 with the one inch high rise mount uh, mounted on uh, one of my Spikes rifles. And um, for sights on this rifle, this is. Um, uh, uh, PSA, uh, metal rear sight, uh, dual aperture sight, and then uh, the front sight is the integrated uh, Troy Industries uh, front flip-up sight um, on the alpha rail. And what I've noticed, um, uh, obviously I'm not, I'm not running the, I'm not going to run the sight on this rifle, on this rifle I run a different sight, but on this setup with uh, the new LED emitter placement, I can, I, I, it's very difficult to do one-third co-witness on this rifle with this high-rise mount. The LED riser is, is in the way. Um, and I'll, I'll see if I can uh, demonstrate this uh, so you can see what I'm talking about. I can't really get the camera to uh, line up on this uh, very well. So this is, this is going to be about as best as I can do at this, at this point. So at least uh, with the front sight, you can see where the red dot is in relation to the front sight post. Um, this, this is pretty close to how it actually is. It's a little bit off uh, because of the, the way the, the receiver is sitting on my workbench here. So this is the uh, one-third co-witness, and I'll put the UTG um, riser on and we'll uh, we'll take a look at the site picture with the UTG riser. Okay, you'll have to excuse um, a little bit blur a little bit of blurriness. Um, I'm trying to get everything in focus but uh, not quite possible with the, the viewing angle that I've got here. So with the UTG 0.83 inch riser mounted to the TRS-25, you can see here that I have easy absolute co-witness. Uh, 
I've got the large aperture on the rear sight here, uh, and you can see the front sight and the red dot is, well, I don't, I'm not exactly sure what you can see at this point, but the uh, red dot is right on the top of the front sight post uh, in my sight picture, but it might be a little blurry for you. So in conclusion, on this particular example with the TRS-25 and the high-rise mount, um, the LED emitter, which has been repositioned, on the on this newer TRS-25 is actually right down here and that actually gets in the way uh, of one-third co-witnessing. It's actually partially blocking the rear sight aperture. So um, it's definitely not doable on um, this particular rifle with this sight setup on this rifle. Now the absolute co-witness with the UTG riser, uh, absolutely perfect. You can see that the, I believe it's in focus now, the front sight posts uh, are clearing the LED emitter. You can see the LED emitter again is right, right there. It's a big kind of clumpy thing at the bottom. Uh, so it's not blocking uh, my sight picture. So for, for me, I'm gonna be using the uh, UTG um, it just it, it works uh, works good on this rifle, and I suspect the uh, my AR pistol I'm going to put this on. It's going to be the same situation. So I'm going to wrap this uh, video up. I don't have any other talking points um, uh, at uh, this time.